We've got a special chair for you. It is the Razer Isker V2 gaming chair and it's got lumbar support. It looks really cool and it goes for $649 at the time of making this video and I'm going to tell you everything I like and don't like and give you an overview of the chair. Without further ado, let's jump in to this. Let's first talk about the installation and put together of the chair. My friend David, who you'll also see later in this video, helped me with this and we had zero problems doing this. You follow the big guide that this comes with and you shouldn't have any trouble putting this chair together at all. Now here's a closer look at the chair. You get adaptive lumbar support system, fully adjustable lumbar curve and high density foam cushions. You can get it in leather black green or just leather black or a fabric dark gray and it looks and feels great. It's got a nice like moisturized leather type feel to it. Feels awesome. You're just gonna see uh, razor branding right there and then all the way around you get your razor pillow that wraps around. You have razor branding on the back. All your controls are on the chair which we'll go through in just a moment. And as we kind of walk around the chair a little bit, it's made very, very well. It feels really nice, like I said. The controls are nice and smooth. Razor branding on the bottom. The wheels work great. Um, I have a little plastic mat because I have like a high ply rug, a pile rug, and so it's, you know, it's better for me that way. Everything about it's very, very comfortable. One thing that I've noticed lately, and it's kind of weird, I don't know if it's just a defect or it's supposed to look like it, but there's like, it's not, this part right here of the of the chair, the leather part, like you can see it's like, it's nice and tucked in here, but then it sticks out right here. I'm not sure what happened right there. I'll probably reach out to them and just let them know why, and find out why it looks like that. Um, but it might be a defect or it might be way the way they all look. I'm assuming it's probably some kind of defect on the chair and potentially would need to be warrantied. But beyond that, I haven't had any problems with it. I've been using it for over a month now and it's my daily chair, and I like it better than the DX Racer chair that I had. It's um, more comfortable, lighter weight, and it's smaller in general, but it's still, I'm a heavy guy, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Um, it, it feels uh, like you know, it has a wide enough seat. It's great, you know, in terms of all that. All right, I got my friend David here. He's, we're gonna show you real quick about the different states. So first is gonna be the, the kind of rocking state of this. So to make it rock, you press it down, I believe, right? Up. up, my fault. Press it up and then you can rock it a little bit. Not my favorite state, but you might love that state. And then when you press it in, you can see it locks into place. There you go, can't move it back. On the other side, there's two levers. The first one is gonna allow you to make the chair go up and down and you can see it's right below the handle. And what you're gonna do is just press on that and then stand up or push down with your bottom and you can adjust the height of it. There's a lever on the back left and this is going to allow you to put the chair laying back. So if you wanna take a nap while you're working or gaming or whatever, you are able to and then to bring it back up, all you're gonna do is pull that lever up and then when you're done, just let it go. And then one of the great things about this is you actually get lumbar support for both sides. So you have a lumbar support lever on the left and on the right, and all you do is just spin it and adjust it. And your lumbar support is going to be your back right here. It's gonna adjust all of this right here so that you can get the perfect fit for your back. You don't have to add an extra pillow or anything to it. So just rock that thing back and forth to show them how it works with the lumbar support. And again, there's one on the left and on the right. I'll just walk all the way around here. And you can see on this side, same looking lever as well. And again, when you found that perfect fit, you just leave it be. If you want to adjust the arms, there are little things on the side here that allow you to press it up and press it down. You can also turn them. So the way you do that is you do it from the front and you can do that to both armrests. So finding the perfect fit for this chair is really up to you. You can see you also get a included uh, pillow that just wraps around to the back so you have better head and neck support. So what do I think about the Razer Isker V2? It's very comfortable. I can sit in this for hours on end and have no trouble. And sometimes I do sit in it for hours on end because I edit videos, 
Um, I'll just be on watching videos on my computer. That's mostly what I do is edit, watch videos, and photo edit and things like that. And this is great. I love the adjustable arms. They're very comfortable. It doesn't get... The, the, the other thing I didn't even mention, I don't think a lot of people have mentioned this, I don't feel hot sitting in this chair. Some chairs you'll sit in and you don't feel like you can breathe at all. I wouldn't say this is like the most breathable, um, cool chair I've ever sat in in terms of the, the, the condition, the weather, but it is comfortable. It's comfortable not only in... in for my my back support and my my bottom and my arms and my and my uh, elbows, but also the heat. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't feel hot in it, which is always nice. It's really important to me in terms of a chair. So I love it. Very happy with it. Six hundred fifty bucks obviously can be very expensive for a chair. Also, the other thing I didn't really love is you know where I do sit down. There is that piece of leather that's kind of loose instead of being nice and tight. So I will check with Razor on that to see what they think. But otherwise, fantastic chair. Totally recommend it. Very, very happy with it. I think if you pick one up, you're really going to like it. It's not too bulky either, like I said earlier in the video, which is nice. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.